another Ants on a Rock video. Welcome to the Ant Corner. Hey there guys and girls, welcome back to another episode with me, Tom, from Ants on a Rock. So today I've got just a little video for you. I've been promising and promising to do it. So today I'm going to reveal one of my new ant colonies. Like I say, I've been promising to do it. I've got several new colonies that I've been telling you about, but I haven't shown you yet. So this is the first one I'm going to show you. It is a Fidoli colony. Now, as always, I cannot pronounce it without butchering it. So I'm just going to put the name right there for you. And let's get on with the video. So I just made a really simple setup for these. Using one of the large outworlds from Best Dance UK, I set up a small layer of sand substrate, little bits of moss layered in throughout. Water in this will help keep the humidity higher for longer. I've attached this to an Ample UK blackout nest in the hopes that they might move in as the colony grows. I've also attached this. It's a tube that I use to attach the test tubes to. It's really, really handy. But guess what? It didn't fit. Taking a little look in, waiting for the camera to focus. But look at this stunning colony. They've got some awesome majors there. You can see the size difference between the major workers and the normal workers. And the size of the heads is absolutely insane. In this colony, there is also four queens. And as you can see, they're already producing lots and lots of eggs and brood, which is really good. I'm really super excited to see the growth of this colony. Fidoli colonies can grow quite fast and to quite large numbers. So to start with four queens is going to give us a great boost. I have a feeling this colony is going to do really well and be super exciting to watch them as they grow. If you haven't already hit that sub button, now's a great time to do it. So I ended up putting the tube straight in the outworld, like a tubs and tube setup. This is fine, and they'll eventually find the nest and start to use it when they need it. It didn't take long, and the first few workers started to run about and explore. As you can see, they're super tiny, and actually quite hard to see against the sand, but you can see them running about. A little bit later, I saw majors coming out to explore. Let's have a little look at them. This one here was just on its own climbing on the walls of the outworld. But look at its massive head. How cool. I hope you enjoyed that little video and I hope you enjoyed seeing one of my new colonies. If you want to see more of my new colonies, make sure you hit that sub button and even join my Discord if you want to join in with all the awesome ant chat. And don't forget we're having the great ant exhibition so if you're from the uk you can come to a massive convention with lots of ant stores lots of cool vendors lots of guest speakers awesome events going on and it's only 20 pound a ticket under 13s go free you can find out more information on the ants and rock website but as always from me i'll see you again soon ant fans i want to take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to my patreon supporters Jason Walker, Kevin Rogerson and Andy Matters. You're all absolutely awesome. I also want to say a massive thank you to Ants of Us and the Ant Lady for supporting the Picnic Table live streams. If you haven't checked out these live stream episodes yet, they're every Wednesday and Sunday, 9pm UK time. Make sure you do check them out. They're awesome. But as always for me, I'll see you again soon, Ant fans.